ask you, name 50 of your favorite songs, I think you would tell me I got more than 50. But I also think that if we got a group together, each of us would have a lot of songs in common. And we have songs that have won monarchies, and then we have those songs that have inspired us to move, to think, to reflect, and celebrate. And so we challenged a group of well-known names in radio, uh, media in general, and in the art form to come up with their a joint crop over 50. And it will debut with live performances at the ceremonial delivery of the last games. Here to tell you about it is, is the youngest old man, he says, Mr. Ronald Clark. And he's wearing red. Could it be Manchester United red? Thank you, Carol. <laughs> Protocol being established. Let me wish you a happy crop over. It's a blessing, it's a privilege, and it's an honor to be here. I do love crop over, and I participate in various ways. We were challenged with the task of compiling 50 songs across the various categories of music, especially competitive categories in Crop Over, namely social commentary slash Piccadilly Crop repertoire, Sweet Soca as it became known, Power Soca as it's now called, and Bashment Soca. None of the songs were winners in the official competitions of crop over. And an artist could not be represented more than once in that list of 50. And if that artist was the lead vocalist of a group, then that would cover both considerations. We literally went from A to Y. We went from the creator of one of the most impressive, impactful tributes to women in any genre, anywhere in the world, from Adonijah, a woman, to, there was no junior monarch at the time, but I'm sure he would have won if there was, young blood. Yes. <laughs> Sport Billy. And he has developed into one of the most incredible, versatile, and distinguished musical and performing ambassadors of this country. Therefore, once Gabby, Bag, Griner, Rasaili had one song of their vast repertoire selected, that was it. Very difficult choice. Gabby has Calypso from 1982, which he didn't win that year. The gentleman that was here and dancing so well on stage, he won that year. But there was also Boots, which didn't win. There was also Hit It, that didn't win. Outside of Griner's Seven Row Marches, plenty of songs coming into consideration. But he produced in 1986, after coming second to Ras Ailey, who won Road March for Spring Garden on Fire, the anthemic Bajan Yankees which really encapsulates everything about Barbadians in New York, in the United States, in North America, coming to Barbados and going back, or where our musicians go there and perform. We had the great Karoo, the late great Karoo, Bongo, take it or lump it, Holly, the poster. And each of these songs in their own right creates a vision and an image of when they were debuted when they grew during a festival, and when they continued to be exposed and appreciated in later years. It wasn't an easy task. What it has done is whet the appetite, appetite potentially for 50 social commentaries, which include the winners this time, Sweet Soka, which include the winners, Power Soka, which include the winners, and Bashment Soka. And we've got younger artists represented, Mikey, Marsville, Lorenzo, and it gives you the opportunity to create your own list, to take in, to take out during the course of the festival. We would welcome that. And we certainly thank the National Cultural Foundation and Mr. Mark Messiah for being an integral part 
of that exercise. Happy crop over. God uh, bless Ronnie, you. before you go, it wasn't just you. If you could just let them know um, the other members that comprised the panel. Oh, we had Alvin Toppin. We had Kid Sight. The Admiral International was part of the group. So there, there are many years of experience and presence in the festival that contributed to this list of 50. So once again, thank you very much, and God bless you. Happy crop over. Thank you very much, Ronnie. And Jude the Dude was also a member of that, of that panel. It really sounds exciting. So Sunday, July 7th, we have the Junior Monarch semifinals. Friday, July 12th, starts the fantastic Pan Weekend. So Friday, July 12th, the Pan Yard Line, UWIK Phil Campus, that's under the big tent. Pandemonium, Sunday, July 14th at the National Botanical Gardens. And then we move on to Saturday, July 20th, Junior Kaduma, again, at the National Botanical Gardens, followed, uh, remember last year was the first time in a long time we twinned these events on the same day. So Junior Kaduma in the morning, and then the Junior Monarch Finals at night, 7 p.m., also in the Botanical Gardens. And as we've done for the last three years, there are some major private events, parties and concerts that we've included on the calendar. So Saturday, July 20th, is the Tipsy Beach Party. And then on Sunday, July 21st, is the Tipsy All-White Party. The Beach Party is at the Copacabana, and the All-White Party is at the National Botanical Gardens. And then we move on to July 26th, a very important date in the season of emancipation on the calendar, and uh, that's the date for the folk concert in Golden Square Freedom Park. As usual, uh, the actual performance component is preceded by a number of speeches and presentation produced in collaboration with the Clement Payne Foundation. To tell us about this year's Crop Over Folk Concert, I'd like to welcome Levi King, who is this year's director. Good evening, good evening. Um, protocol having been established. Good evening, everyone. Good 50 evening. years of crop over. Could you imagine? <laughs> Look. Now, I've had the privilege of being cast in and, um, several folk concerts over the time. Actually, my first public performance ever was in a folk concert. So I've worked with some wonderful dancers, actors, choreographers, directors, musicians, and technical people, and front of house staff, right? I am honored to have been given the opportunity to bring this year's folk concert to life. Now, this year's folk concert, as with any other, looks at the circumstances around, leading up to, and the impact of the 1937 uprising, which we affectionately call the 1937 riots. Um, this year's folk concert is going to be a theatrical experience. It will look into a question. What was life like for the average Bajan, the average everyday person leading up to who was impacted by and had to live through this experience? What was it like for the butcher, the baker, the plantation worker? This production is going to take a look at it through their eyes, through the eyes of our grandparents and great-grandparents who lived it every day, who had to be there to experience this and saw the changes that came about after the riots were completed and everything happened um, and everything that took place afterwards took place. Now, Barbados has a wealth of talent when it comes to spoken word and when it comes to word sound. We have all kinds of people who sing, who do poetry, who chant, who fling, who do dance, all um, bashment, soca, everything. This year's folk concert is going to be a multidisciplinary experience encompassing many of the talents that we nurture here in Barbados. And we have to admit, we have a lot of talented people here, right? All right then. Now this all takes place on one day only, July 26. That is the date of the 1937 riots. We do it on that day so that we can look back and remember. We can take the lessons from those times and we can remind ourselves of who we are, not the docile people that Bajans tend to tell themselves that they are. But people who, when the time gets rough and when going gets hard, we come together and do what we need to do to bring about the changes that will benefit us. Thank you very much. 
Thank you very much, Levi. And as you heard him say, the cast will be young and extremely talented. Wednesday, July, this should be Friday, July 26, will also be the reunion, and that will take place at the Kensington Mall car park. And that will, as you know, is staged by the Mikey Mercer Charity. Saturday, July 27th, will be the second Bridgetown Craft Market. Sunday, July 28th, Soka on the Hill. Then we turn the corner into that final week. Friday, July 31st, Rise at the Imans at Kensington Oval. And then Thursday, July 31st, and then Friday, August. No, I have this calendar wrong. It should be Friday, August 1st, rise. Thursday, August 1st, rise. And Friday, August 2nd, the Pick of the Crop finals. And uh, we have had our meetings with the tent managers and to tell us a little bit more about what we can expect for the Pick of the Crop finals, I now invite Aja, who is the coordinator of that competition, to come to the microphone. Thank you, Carol. Um, a very important initiative is going to happen this year. Uh, for a long time, we know that the six tenths, the six tenths of the last five or six years, will be judged at different locations. And we realized that there was a little issue, particularly for the, the judges, that when they move from one location, like the sound changes. Right? You go to one location where the sound is excellent, then you go to another venue, and the acoustics is bad, and you know, the judges really have to concentrate, and you know, as businesses, strain the, the, the ears to hear, right? Um, and last year, we said we were trying and see if we could get the judging in one location, one sound system, one set of equipment, and create a level playing field. So we are going to start that this year. Um, so just let me tell you the locations. There are going to be two locations next year. We'll probably get one. Um, July 15th will be the Stray Cats at the Daphne Joseph Packet Theatre. And then the Big Show, the 16th, House of Soka, the 17th, and Shining Stars, the 18th, all at the gymnasium. Big sound system and, and it works. Then Super Gladiators will be at the Daphne Joseph Packet Theatre and all stars at the gym on the 22nd. Hopefully, we will see a whole improvement with Pick the Crop. Pick the Crop right now, I mean, compared to the other competitions uh, through the Caribbean, is considered, you may be surprised, number one, in terms of production and presentations and so on. So hopefully over another two years of one location, we should see a, a further rise in pick the crop. And that is, that is tremendous, right? And we haven't also, we, we did a, a major workshop last year as well. Um, and, and, and the objective for doing that, Carol had the objective of the results this year. It, went, it was songwriting, it was, it was um, presentation, it was voice projections and so on. So, that developmental process that we are talking about, in, which including one, lo one location, was started last year. Uh, with Kiara having a, pr a, a particular objective of improving this, the, the quality of sound writing. The, besides the big voices like, 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 like Baig and, 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 and Mr. Blood and, and those, they, those come over very, very, very great. But if you go to all the Calypso tanks, you will see people that sing only once a year, come in the tank. But you, you will notice that their voice projection, they had issues with voice projections and so on. So you will see a standard, a, 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 a higher standard of pig crop this year as a result of these initiatives. And I'm really looking forward to being part of that process. Thank you. Thank you very much, Aja. And thank you to all of the tent managers, uh, some of whom I see in the audience. Thank you very much for once again partnering with us.
Saturday, August 3rd, four-day morning jam. A bit later that day, Saturday, August 3rd again, this is Rick. Uh, the four-day morning jam will start in the helipad and go up the mighty Griner Highway. This is Rick. This year is at the Garfield Sobers Gymnasium Car Park. And then we have on Saturday, August 3rd, our third Bridgetown Craft Market. And Sunday, August 4th, Soka 5.0, 5.0 for 50 years. Now, remember that last year we had Soka 4.0. We did not have a Soka competition. Instead, we invested quite heavily time, funding, and development to work with uh, Soka artists to get us back into pride of place. So we, had, um, we took our campaign to Labor Day in New York, Miami Carnival, uh, that was in November. Uh, we culminated with Carnival in Trinidad and Tobago this year. Uh, we also had artists flying our flag high. Hypersounds was in Portugal. Uh, Father Fox was in Japan. And Marsville was in Alaska. And so we've continued that developmental project and we've added others as well. One of the ones I want to tell you about is the Pink Pen Project. Well, I'm not gonna tell you about it. I'm gonna invite Shanna Hines, first up, to talk about that project, the Pink Pen Project. Thank you. I see that we're twinning this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, women are the backbone of any society. We are the main source of life, the main source of light, the main source of love, and we should never be overlooked. Yet, as female artists in the music industry, we are expected to work 10 times harder. Today, I've come here to say, bring it on. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been my ultimate pleasure to facilitate the Pink Pen Project in collaboration with the National Cultural Foundation for this, the 50th anniversary of Crop Over, the sweetest summer festival. For this project, seven female artists were selected to produce a soca song for the festival, co-written by yours truly. Over the past month, Shanta Prince, Renice Bonnet, Ahanje Daniel, Miracle Rice, Shante Allen Clark, Summer Davis and Carissa Chase were coached on the fundamentals of songwriting, the music business, branding, and are currently in the process of recording their very own pen tracks produced for the final product. I'm sure that I speak for all of the girls. I know some of them are here when I say I am super excited for you guys to hear the end result. I am beaming with pride at the progress of all the participants that they have made from never finishing or never writing a song at all to effectively structuring full songs and sharing their true authentic messages. We have laughed and cried together and created a safe space where we are all growing. Above all else, I hope that they have learned the power of understanding your craft and how that can help you to soar higher. Even if they don't go on to write all of their songs or even any, I want them to leave with a more developed air for the song that they want to achieve and the confidence to ask for it. I believe that music is life and I am grateful to work with a team who feels the same way. I would like to thank Daisy and Kimberly Innes who produced the beats for the project, as well as our sound engineers, Josh and Shamar. We quite literally could not do it without you. Also, thank you to the doctor, Queen Alison Hines, for your kind words, your hard pills to swallow, and your loving encouragement through this journey, and for forging a space in the industry for women like us to shine through. And of course, thank you to the Pull the Trigger Records team, Talia, Tian, Paul, Barry, Faith, Ashe, for always supporting my dreams and fueling my delusion, which is, as y'all know, a necessary thing for this business. I have learned and grown even more than the participants in this project about the importance of structure, clarity, and teaching always helps to bring about patience. I am sharpening my songwriting skills in the process, and I'm perpetually elated to be doing what I love most and giving back to my country. Many, many thanks to Carol Roberts, Lisa Howell, Andre Hoy, and the business development team at the National Cultural Foundation for choosing me pouring into me and trusting me with the creative autonomy to execute my vision as I saw. I will always give back to Barbadian culture. And this is just the beginning. 
not only for Pull the Trigger Records, but I see an upward trend of programs, workshops, and all kinds of developmental things from the NCF. And I am really, really happy to see it. I'm happy to be benefiting from it. And we want to empower Caribbean artists and Bajan artists and show them what this little rock has to offer. We're starting with the Pink Pen Project. To the girls, let me get us some pressure this year. And don't ever forget, just because the pen pink, don't mean that the pen is stink. Pull the trigger. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you. The, the mentor for this project uh, very quickly accepted the challenge to hold the hands of these young women, share of her vast amount of experience and talent and time. Please welcome Dr. Alison Hines, Cultural Ambassador. Good evening, everyone. Um, it, as Carol said, when um, I was approached to be a part of the Pink Pen Project, it was something that I definitely jumped on very quickly because it's not about, we ain't trying to hit on the fellas, so please don't take no offense, fellas. But it is about empowering the female artists. Now, from my point of view, as the queen of soca, I have been in this business releasing my, ver my first hit with Square One, which would have been Ragamuffin. That would have been in 1996. This is 2024. I'm still out there, still relevant, still touring, still headlining. But when it comes to females and Soka and Barbados, it's just me. And for me, I want to help to develop the female artists coming out of Barbados in particular. I want little company, man. I want somebody that is young and vibrant and exciting, and we have it. But our female artists, have just, they just need the material, they need the encouragement, they need whatever support that can be given. And through this project, along with myself and the National Cultural Foundation, I will do my very best to make sure that these young ladies are going to be successful. It doesn't mean it's gonna happen this year, but we have the chance. And I also am gonna have the opportunity to create my own program in partnership with the NCF as well that will further, further that um, support that our female artists need. I always want to encourage artists in general in terms of, you know, what, what they can do and if they need to, to speak to me based on my experiences and so on. But in this particular instance, I want to put the focus on female artists because we need, we, we need them to be out there to, to rise up because they have the talent, they have the ability, they have all of this. They just need that extra oomph. And we, as a society, need to make sure that when those young ladies come out, that we give them the support that they deserve. All of our art artists deserve support no matter what. But for me, as a woman in this business, I know what it is like. It is different. As much as we, would, we don't want it to be that, it is different. We have to work harder. We are held to a higher standard, all of these things. So I take it as a personal, my personal um, vision to be able to support these female artists and give them that encouragement. And whenever you see them, give them the encouragement. And I will continue to work. And of course, no matter where I go, I continue to fly the blue, yellow, and black as high as I can. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm gonna come back to Soka 5.0 to wrap up 
I'm going now to Monday, August 5th, Grand Kadumat. And if you look at your calendar, I know the media would have circled this one very quickly because it says starts in Bridgetown. And uh, we've had our meetings with our stakeholders, in particular the Barbados Association of Masqueraders, Barbados Police Service. Uh, we've had some our preliminary meetings with them, Barbados Defense Force, Department of Emergency Management, and others. And uh, to do the big reveal, I'm going to invite the president of the Barbados Association of Masqueraders, Jason Thompson. Thank you, CEO. With protocol already established, let's get down to masquerade. Immediately after Crop Over 2023, the Barbados Association of Masqueraders would have appointed a task force to carry out a SWOT analysis on the festival. The information received was used to shape the planning meetings that took place with the NCF. These meetings have been on ongoing all year. As recent as last week, we met with the Barbados Defense Force, the police force, all of the band leaders, and the other stakeholders. From these meetings, we'd have recognized the need for change. However, change that would make things better for most stakeholders. One major change being the route for a grand kudumit. Why change? We saw it as a need for wider roads based on the experience that many of our band leaders would like to offer to their masqueraders. We recognize that the spectators are forced to stand in the roads of the smaller roads, and therefore there was a need for party zones, as the CEO would have mentioned before. Areas where persons can purchase from a stall space, listen to some music, and enjoy themselves within that space while they're waiting for the other band to pass. Having a route that offers a picturesque view of our beautiful beaches, one added benefit to destination Barbados. And finally, having a system that can be easily managed by the police and the armed forces. The route, join me on this journey. It begins within the environment of the helipad. We proceed out to Hink Street, heading in the direction of the Princess Alice Highway. So we're passing Pelican Village. We made the right turn onto Prescott Boulevard, passing CID, passing Chaffet Harbor Road, and continuing all the way down to the Elsipane Roundabout. Making the right at the Elsipane Roundabout, passing Kensington Oval, heading all the way up present Kennedy Drive to Eagle Hall making the left turn at Eagle Hall onto Black Rock Main Road, traveling along Black Rock Main Road all the way down to Frank War Roundabout, what we would call the roundabout at the bottom of University Hill. Going all the way around the roundabout and entering the mighty Griner Highway, parading down the mighty Griner Highway and ending down by Kensington Oval. Let's not knock it before we try it. Look forward to seeing you guys on the road. Happy birthday, crop over. You have reached your golden year. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jason Thompson, the president of the Barbados Association of Masqueraders. I can hear the buzz. Yes, we have a Q&A after this. And uh, yes, you have heard the amended route, but the work now begins. Um, we've had our preliminary meetings, and now we really get down to coordination and execution. So I come then to Saturday, August 10th, which is the final Bridgetown Craft Market. But it's also my honor as I wrap up to announce this year's Crop Over Stalwart Awardees. And uh, we normally present the Crop Over Stalwart Awards at the ceremonial delivery of the last canes. And these awards are presented to individuals who have contributed significantly to the growth of the festival. 
and some of them are actually with us today. And this is a special honorary list, of course, in celebration of the 50th anniversary of Crop Over. And so the 2025, 2024 50th anniversary Crop Over Stalwarts list reads like this. G. Addington Ford, Al Jilts, Allison Gittins, Charles Ashby, Alpha 24, <laughs> Chetwin Stewart, David Leslie, Dorsey Boyce, John Seeley, Jennifer Seeley, Morville Lynch, Merle Niles, and Nigel Harper. Let's hear it for our crop over stalwarts for 2024. Equally, the Cropover ambassadors play a crucial role in endorsing and promoting the festival to their various demographic groups. And we are delighted to be working with them this year. And this year's core of Cropover ambassadors comprises DJ Indian, Mikey Dread, Spinny, Sluggy Dan, DJ Salt, Astra Bab, DJ Tammy, Renee Eiffel of Next to Natural, Adrian Wilkinson, Aeon Skills, Christian, Christian Gibbs, and Morgan Williams. And additionally, we are very pleased to announce that we will be working in conjunction with Luke Lascaris of Bazodi to produce a series of features which will highlight 50 years of crop over. The final person I'm going to invite to the microphone uh, has been the coordinator, um, co-team leader of all of our artists as they have traveled abroad. And he's going to bring you a tale of inspiration, but also of good news. And for that, I invite Father Fox. Not ducking this evening. Good evening, esteemed guests. I am honored and filled with excitement to have received an invitation from the Division of Culture in the Prime Minister's Office and the National Cultural Foundation to join this year's Emancipation and Crop Over Media Launch. Believe me when I say that our 166 square miles of paradise are adored and celebrated worldwide. My travels recently represented Crop Over 2024 activations at Labor Day in New York, Miami Carnival, Trinidad, Portugal, Japan have shown me this firsthand, I must say. We as artists are extremely proud to showcase our national pride through our music. The infusion of soca and our cultural essence at these festivals plays a pivotal role in attracting our visitors to our shores. While hearing our music is impactful, the experience of live performances and engaging with patrons and revelers through seals the deals for us. It really seals the deal. The people love to hear crop over music. They love to hear Bajan music. In Trinidad was, I would say, the first time in how many years that we actually had a Bajan band representing the artists. And it felt so different. It felt so different. I mean, like, promoters were enjoying it. They loved it. And they want us to do it again. Everybody enjoyed it. The team of artists were thrilled to carry the Bajan flag to other Caribbean festivals this year. As entertainers, we have the opportunity to further refine our craft, particularly in my case, our music. Creating exceptional world-class music that transcends borders. That is the key for us. Allow me to extend my heartfelt congratulations to the Republic of Barbados on the 50th anniversary of Crop Over celebrations. Rest assured, it is our collective mission as entertainers to proudly raise our Bajan flag high, very high, and showcase the best of what we have to offer every citizen, visitor, and well-wisher. With that being said, I want to say happy 2024, happy golden year to Barbados. Thank you very much, Father Fox. Special mention must be made of the enduring partners of the festival with whom we have been meeting since last year, the stakeholder groups, tent managers, Association of Masqueraders, BACA, the Association of Event Producers, and the Association of Entertainers. Our facilitating partners, the BTMI, 
Barbados Police Service, the BDF, Ministry of Health, in particular the Polyclinics and Environmental Health Unit, the DEM, the Barbados Fire Service, Barbados Water Authority, MTW, the Ministry of the Environment, the Sanitation Service Authority, and the Ministry of Housing, among others. Our family of sponsors continues to support the festival, and they're intrinsic to its execution and success, whether supporting a government-produced or private event, a big fet or a community activity. We extend our heartfelt thanks to you. And of course, special, special thanks to our parent ministry, Prime Minister's Office Culture, for always supporting, always guiding, and always endorsing, and of course, the staff of the NCF and the staff at the Division of Culture. Hold on to your calendars. Get ready for a wonderful, wonderful 50th edition of the Crop Over Festival. Thank you. Thank you very much. There's a, it's a good thing there's no height requirement for the festival. Thank you, CEO. <laughs> Thank you also to Miss Onika Small, Winslow Jordan, Ronnie Clark, Levi King, Aja, Shanna Hines, Dr. Alison Hines, Mr. Jason Thompson, and of course, Father Fox. That was certainly an exciting package, right? We have a lot to do. We need to put some outfits together. <laughs> The NCF is producing an incredible 50th anniversary celebration. Let's give another round of applause for the CEO and the entire team. Of course, this is all done with the invaluable engagement and input of all of our key stakeholders. Remember to be a part of the action. Log on to the NCF Barbados on social media for all your crop over information. We've got another performance coming up for you now. I'm sure you would agree with me that the Crop Over Festival creates that feeling of sheer euphoria and bliss. To use the NCF's theme for the season, we all love Crop Over. Accompanied by Is A Vibe and Euphony Steel, ladies and gentlemen, here is Peter Ram performing Crop Over. Good morning. When we out on the road, and this is what we love to celebrate, to celebrate. This is Hollywood. We don't come out of place. We just party with no restraint. From the right to place, I just party the most. I behave with the worst. My conduct is so gross, 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 gross. From the time that I wait, already to bust the gate. You can send my shot, sing, sing, sing. Crop over, good man. Woo! Show them how we this jump up. Show them how we this free up. Boy, crop over, good man. Hey. Show them how we this jump up. Show them how we this free up. Boy, come now, let me start the drinking. Start, start. Come now, let me start, start. Woo! Well, come, let me start, start, start. Why no levy started? Why, why no levy? Sing again, sing again. Come pull a good man. Woo! Show them no. F, you ready for crop over? Man, put your hands up in the air. Put your hands up in the air. Woo! Woo! Come no levy start. 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 Come no levy start. 
start, start. Come now, let me start, start. Come now, let me start it, boy. Remember, 50 years and 50 days. So you have to give the NCF a round of applause, please. Quap over sweet for days. 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 We celebrating 50 years. Celebrating 50 years. Celebrating 50 years. Sing that, sing that. Quap over sweet for days. Quap over sweet for days. Over sweet for days. Quap over sweet. We celebrating 50 years. We celebrating 50 years. So let me see all the hand and raise. Right now, I will leave the stage. Hold it. Crap over good. Show them how we just jump up. Yes, we can give it another round of applause. Thank you so much to Isa Vibe and, of course, Peter Ram. I now invite Senator Dr. The Honorable Chantal Monroe Knight, Minister in the Prime Minister's Office, to deliver her remarks. I'm a little bit taller, I guess, compared to this. <laughs> Good evening to all of you. Listen, certainly when Peter Ram is on the stage, it's normally signaling either more fat to happen or the end of a fat. It certainly does not signal time for a minister um, to be given a long, long talk and bringing on the vibe, right? Um, so I am going to speak very briefly. And I want to start by saying congratulations um, both to the National Culture Foundation, um, all of the staff, chairman, um, as well to the board of the National Cultural Foundation, um, and as well to the staff of the Division of Culture. This year, for Season of Emancipation 2024, and for the 50th anniversary of Krapova, we are delivering for you more. And I hope that as the CEO spoke to the calendar for the Season of Emancipation, and as well for the 50th anniversary, that you saw the weaving of that story of more. The cultural landscape in Barbados is set to explode for 2024. And I want you to participate in that explosion that is taking place. Even as we have announced here today the launch of the season of emancipation and Krapova, during the month of May, we will also welcome approximately 500 Liberians who would be undertaking a pilgrimage commemorating the 159th anniversary of the movement of over 346 Barbadians to Liberia. Um, and over that period, or because of that movement, we gave Liberia two presidents, two presidents, two Liberian presidents of Barbadian um, lineage. And those Liberians would be coming here, those Barbadians um, would be coming back to Barbados um, to celebrate, to commemorate over that period of May, over 500. Also during the season of emancipation, we will also take the opportunity to celebrate the 100th birthday of Shirley Chisholm. And most of you are, I hope, would know Shirley Chisholm. She spent most of some of her childhood here in Barbados. But amongst her accolades was the fact that Shirley was one of the only, or is the only perhaps, or the first African, African woman um, who ran a presidential campaign. 
and we will um, celebrate and commemorate that achievement over the period of May to November, expanding the calendar for the season of emancipation, more. But that more is also about the deliberateness of the design that we have undertaken this year for the season of emancipation and the 50th um, anniversary of Kwapoba. You will see the more in the innovation that has been brought. As you would have heard particularly, I want to mention the design of the Jackie Opal Incentive Award for Spooge Music, something that many of us have been calling for the acknowledgement, the recognition, and the investment in Spooge, in Spooge Music, and we are delivering. You would see the investment in a more community-driven season of emancipation and crop over. The 12 sweet limes, you see it as well in how we will be designing our Marcus Garvey as well Innovation Award Prize where we will be going back into communities, building, looking, being deliberate in making sure that we can take from communities, from average Barbadians, those projects that they have within their bosom, but for whatever reason are a little bit tentative about bringing forward. We want to bring those to the national fore and again to invest in building them in showcasing them. You will see more as well, and I hope that has been demonstrated, in our approach for a stakeholder-driven season of emancipation and a, as well um, crop over. You would have heard the stakeholders themselves, and I know that most of you will contend with the new route that has been announced. But I want to reinforce that the decision around that was driven by the stakeholders themselves. And that we are responding to a demand and to proposals that were put before us. Because we understand that the festival cannot be driven out of the four walls of the National Culture Foundation or the Division of Culture, but it has to be driven by the stakeholders and the beneficiaries. And we will continue to listen, we will continue to be responsive, and we will continue to meet and walk with our stakeholders. And you will see that as well in the Emancipation Village that was announced, that was the brainchild of a special envoy, where we will offer the opportunity over the period May again to August for a plethora of cultural artists some that we know, some that we don't know, again, because we are about unearthing new talent, new voices, to bring them to the fore and to provide a stage. An offer for, for, for Barbadians, weekends of cultural activities of all sorts, free and open for all to enjoy. Season of Emancipation 2024, crop over 50 years is all about more. I want to ask all Barbadians to join us for this year. I want to see you come out and participate in your numbers. For those of you who feel that crop over is only about the music and kadumit, I hope that you would have learned here today that it's also about development. It is also about, what is it? The pink. The Pink Pen Project is also about empowering women as well. That the season of emancipation is not only about looking back, but it's also about future as well, more. And so that Barbadians from all walks of life, all ages, should be able to find a place, see themselves not just as recipients, not just as people who attend, but as active participants in this season of emancipation 2024. This, quite honestly, 2024, we started um, right after 2023. And the deliberateness I want to re-emphasize in design and that commitment to making sure that as our prime minister always says, that we see and we feel people and that we deliver for season of emancipation 
2024, Krapova, 50 years, again, more for all of you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Minister Monroe Knight. I'm glad you mentioned for all ages. From the opening gala to Grand Kaduma, I'll be there in my muster roll for sure. <laughs> During the season of emancipation, we honor the rich history that has contributed to who we are as a people today. Delivering a piece which speaks to Bajan identity and pride, please welcome spoken word artiste Sunrock with his self penned piece, Come From. Yo. Yo, good night, good night. Yo, big guy, everybody, be. Give me a round of applause, man, for can up. Real thing. Since we celebrating the crop over, the emancipation, the ancestry, I have write this. So you can let me mind Sally beat some drums here, we can get it together. <laughs> Yeah. Hop put your hand in the air and let them know we from from tell them we from boom 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 put your hand in the air We come from this in the spirit, you can put this in a dungeon. Every road, every alley, every junction. We in there, tell them we all up in there. Mother Sally Pony beat now. Watch how the mob for start to jump street now. You do my Davies party in the street now. We in there, tell them we in there where we come from. Stick liquors and the plantations. The hard life that fill the nation. The sweet bread, fish cakes, and big sack. The little shop on the corner, we in there. Poor rum and get sweet now. Don't feel like we frightened to speak out. We sons and daughters from Ryan City. Street now, we in there, tell them we in there. Yeah, right from Barbados, bim, 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 bim. Yeah, yeah, away from Barbados, bim, bim, bim. Let me put a hand in the air and let them know we come from. Tell them we from bim, 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 bim. Put your hand in the air and let them know we come from. Tell them we from. Yeah. Look, the beach is nice and the waistline's greasy. You know what I'm Nice if we set in easy. Bumpers just spin the bread IG weekly. The girls look better than the ones on TV, Lord. Don't let she push back so. All of Africa below she backbone. I just hear her call it come back home. Even if I left my heart, still know I from Barbados. Let me see you put your hand in the air like Barbados. Let me see you put your hand for the air like Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. This one for Bossa, Clem up pain and all the rest. When people start screaming for the name, this one for everybody. Put the hand in the ear if you know we can see this again. This one for we big up 50 years, a couple over. Call it, we call it the same. This one for Alison Hines, most ball screen TVs in the 90s. I know we ain't name. This one for Matt Fink, Gall as a stand up comedian. Hardest thing that we see. This one for Gabby, this one for Bai, this one for Adrian and TC. This one for anybody like BHL music and how we can't play. I pick up the all my people that run down in the road and start the page and invade it. Hey, this one for Mikey and the new cats. This one here for Etienne. Call it hyper songs, but I know he has a big brother that used to catch the box with that win. Pick up all of my people and them. Alison Eyes for all in the anthem. 25 for crop over. Remember the song and it's 25 more since then. Yeah, and this is for my people in the crowd. Everybody screaming the sound. This one for, for Ruby Tech and everybody here for Roshi that bringing all the songs. This one for Darian that all the keys. This one for Sally that here drumming for me. This one for you. This one for we. Thank the Lord. All of we just here free. Cause we come from Bim, 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 Bim. Where we come from? Tell them we come from. Bim, 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 Bim. When the marks we. Let me tell them. The ancestors in we backbone when the hard times come. We will never run, we does never 
Thank you. Thank you so much, Sam Rock. That was good, right? Big up, BIM. Tonight is all about the season of emancipation of which the 50th anniversary of crop over celebrations are a part and of which the youth are a key part. She has won more junior monarchs than any other singer. Doing a Bajan thing. welcome the reigning junior monarch, Tay. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, I can't wait now. Let me go. Like when your foot touched the ground, an instant connection, they take away back to where we belong, yeah. I can't teach you how to be done. Just follow my action. All right, in your hand, I love we go long. Now everybody puts it up. Don't you eagle out all on top the wall. If you come to party, just put it up. Green alert, we come back behind the big truck. We come to shake it up. Everybody rebel it. Again, don't relive the pain that been gone. Today the sun come up again. That is a blessing. So they go to ride that we get on. Everybody, hey, in the gallery, on top the balcony, watching mask for the sun up. Bring the fire, come back behind the big truck we come to. Take a while now. It's a 
Thank you so much, T. I now invite Chief Cultural Officer, Mrs. Andrea Wells, to deliver the closing remarks this evening. Well, what an evening, and we're just about getting started. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the National Cultural Foundation, it is my pleasure to thank the following persons without whom this evening's event would not be possible. First, let me speak, let me thank our speakers, Senator Dr. the Honorable Chantal Monroe Knight, Minister in the Prime Minister's Office, Dr. Jasmine Babb, Chairman of the National Cultural Foundation, who we know is very passionate about crop over and masquerade in particular. I also want to acknowledge the presence of members of the board and management and thank the entire board for their, enti for their continuous guidance and support. I'd also like to acknowledge the staff of the Division of Culture and the Prime Minister's Office who have ably assisted in making this evening possible. And our leader, Ms. Carol Roberts, Chief, Cultural, Chief Executive Officer at the National Cultural Foundation, and the stakeholders who would have also spoke during her presentation and sharing their future input into this anniversary, 50th anniversary celebration of the Crop Over Festival. We want to thank the artists. Crop Over is about the arts and culture, and we gave you just a little taste of what you can expect for the season tonight. The members of the Haynesville Youth Club, some of those who we've seen grow up on this and on other cultural stages. Sun Rock, the most honorable cultural ambassador, Stetson RPB Wiltshire, Peter Ram, Junior Monarch Tay, Dancing Africa, Is a Vibe, Darian Bailey, and Zachary Bostick. We want to thank you. The NCF team, and that team is headed up by our board, and the board is so critical. They sign off on all of our programming, and they keep us accountable for the outcomes of the festival. What you have enjoyed here this evening and will enjoy throughout the season comes through long hours of hard work and dedication. From as early as December 2023, and weekly since January, now and we know continuing in the future and even beyond Grand Cadument, the NCS Crop Over Festival, led by the CEO, Ms. Carol Roberts, meets and will continue to meet every week, sometimes more than once weekly, fine-tuning and ironing out details in order to deliver the spectacle. Along with the CEO, the NCF Crop Over Committee comprises from management, myself, Chief Cultural Officer, the Mr. Michael Handley, Manager of Administration, Mr. Sean Lynch, the Finance Officer, Mr. Andre Hoyt, the Senior Business Development Officer, Mr. Jamal Cobbin, new to the NCF and experiencing his own baptism of fire but showing, like Mr. Harding, he thrives in fire. <laughs> our new technical officer. Mr. Mark Messiah, not new to the NCF, but new to the post, our marketing officer. Ms. Tony Yard, the corporate communications specialist. And joining management, some of our cultural officers, Michelle Springer, our research officer, much of her work in farms and fuels, the imagination of the officers who create the various programs for Crop Over, our music officers, Kevin Moore and Aisha Buster, and our visual arts officer and curator, Odika Small, who this year will be assisted but later in the season by Rodney Eiffel. Our festival and event planning department, led by senior event planner, Ms. Karen Pestena, Ms. Stacey O'Brien, another event planner, and event planning assistants, Kellyanne Gaskin, Shannon Seeley, and Christian Bess, Christina Bess. External producer who works very closely with the team, Aja, who would have presented to you today. Key to the staging of this event, our plant and equipment team. Many of them are not necessarily known by the public, but they're here with us tonight. Usually they're the first on site and often the last to leave. This very hardworking team of guys really, they're the engine that keeps all of our programs running. We wanna thank tonight the NCF ushers, the NCF marshals, NCF volunteers working diligently tonight and throughout the season.
The truth is, the production of this major festival calls for all hands on deck as we solicit help from external coordinators who are versed in their areas of endeavor, and we also thank them as well. Our service providers for tonight, who we know will be very busy over the next few months working in different aspects of the festival, intelligent lighting, GS systems and act solutions, making moves, Marnico Media, Chef Marvin Applewhite, CNA Tools, Renaissance Designs, Exquisite Rentals, and Destination, Destination Florals, we thank you. We also thank our valued sponsors who have already come on board again this year. And we also thank potential sponsors in advance. You will certainly hear more about all of our sponsors in the coming months. And they say that you often should leave the best for last. An extra special thanks to our partners and friends in the media, both traditional and contemporary media. This, of course, is your event. We provided a lot of information, and now we are depending on you to spread the exciting news about our season of emancipation, and within it, the 50th anniversary of Cropover. Thank you for continually pushing and promoting the season to audiences both at home and abroad. I close by inviting all of you to join us in celebrating this important milestone in the history of our nation. So open up your phones and add these dates to your calendar or write them in your diary. Our season of emancipation will run from April 14th to August 27th. And within the season, the 50th anniversary of the Cropover Festival, which runs from July 6th to August 5th. Join us all for all of the events as we celebrate this significant season. Thank you for coming and good night. Thank you, Mrs. Wells. This moment is one you don't want to miss. This is the debut of the 50th anniversary of Crop Over Jingle. Written by Lead Pipe and Sadis and produced by Darian Bailey and Tariq Ellis. It features up and coming talent, and we now invite you to take a listen. I love Krapova, Krapova, the festival we love. Thank you. 
festival Ville. That was so sweet. And during tonight's cocktail, you'll see a QR code on the screen. When you scan that, you'll be able to play the jingle. It's also available on the website, ncf.bb, or you can check it out on our YouTube and social media pages. Up next, we have an extra special performance for you. And I am going to make this as short and sweet as possible. Who knows hits like Jam Down? Y'all don't know those? <laughs> Who knows hits like Mother Sally? All right, all right. Well, without further ado, if y'all had push it, I would have to sing Low Rick. Yeah. Good night, everyone. Happy crop over 2024. And in 50 years, I'll be feeling good. That is a blessing. Yes. Let me go. Crop over is a blessing, not a curse. It's the best thing in the world It's the best time I ever had The best time I ever had The best time I ever had It's the oh. best time yeah. Hold your head and walk up Down on the ground Best time ever High see a foot and cock up Why? Best time ever Thank God no pan chuk 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 Best time ever High tell the ground Hold on uh, uh, uh. So much woman up in the fence Oh God, the king don't give me chest Oh God, shall be like I'm blessed I'm walking up and dripping with sweat Our teeth are lying on the deep mess I just live me life like a fed We're beautiful people All of my friends Me heading up father Don't want this to end This thing is a lifestyle I set in a trend And I just won't stop till I get the knock I just won't stop Rock over's a blessing Not a girl it's the best thing in the world. Oh, it's the best time I ever had. The best time I ever had. It's the best time I ever had, boy. Crop over's a blessing. Not a curse. It's the best thing in the world. Oh, Lord. It's the best time I ever had. The best time I ever had. The best time I ever had, boy. Hold your head on, walk up.
Thank you, Mr. Cropover. Remember to log on to the NCF Barbados on social media for all of your season of emancipation and Cropover information. Tell a friend, bring a relative, join a work colleague, and help us to make Cropover 2024 the biggest and best ever as we toast the 50th anniversary. In true Cropover spirit of liming and socializing, we have a cocktail reception happening, and we ask that you kindly remain seated as the official party makes their way over. Keep an eye out for the QR code I mentioned earlier. You can scan that from the screen. And also look out for your goodie bags. Those will be coming around shortly. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you. You have certainly been a gracious and engaging audience. Happy crop over.